Hello, Rec Center patrons. My name's Mike, and this is my Tabata assistant, Riggin, and we're gonna try and walk you guys through uh, a lower body routine today. And uh, as I said, uh, it's gonna be based on, on Tabata. And uh, the whole idea behind Tabata is that you perform uh, exercises or sets of exercises one after another with very brief rest in between. Then after that set, you have a little longer rest and then you, you repeat that however number of sets that you want to perform, then you can move on to other sets. But the idea being is that ultimately produces an aerobic effect. So again, we're gonna be working lower body today. Uh, we, we appreciate your patronage and please jump in. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is squat. And uh, Riggin, what I'll do is I'll kind of perform this in the lateral if you can stay facing towards the camera and we'll do probably a dozen, 15, something like that. Then we'll move on to lunges and then calf raises. Now what we're doing for the calf raises here is we have uh, 15 pound weights that are set down. You don't have to have a machine to do this. And uh, at home, if you don't have free weights like that, you can just use a step or you can stack towels or something like that. That'll work just as well, okay? All right, Regan, let's do some squats. And uh, what we're trying to do here, of course, is, is lower, it's gonna be quad intensive and we're gonna stick that rear out, almost like we're trying to sit on the heels. The weight will go on the heels, okay? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, Rest it for a minute. Now the lunges, at home you can either make them moving lunges. In our case, Rig and I are gonna just be doing stationary lunges, okay? And uh, the way I was taught is this is like a telemark ski exercise. Where telemark ski is a short, wide ski, and just pretend you have a pole in each hand, okay? Very good. Now we can jump over and do the calf raises. Here we go. You can do them fast, you can do them slow. And the idea is you wanna go as low as you can, you wanna go as high as you can. All righty. That was set number one. Okay, squats again. Very good. Okay, you ready for lunges? Let's go. And when you're doing the lunges, the lower you get the better, but you don't have to. You're still getting benefit out of them if you go say two thirds. When are we gonna stop? <laughs> All right, okay, calf raises. All right, very good. Now with calf raises, you know, it suggests that it's calf intensive as it, and it is, but it also works the anterior compartment, not just the calves. All right, last set. Okay, squat starts. Two. Very good, all right. Here the lunges, let's go.
One more. Okay, that was our three set of those. Nobody have correct. I'm sorry, forgive me. Caffrey's. Not very good. Okay, we're gonna throw in one more exercise here. It's not gonna be with another set of exercises, but it's a ski hop. And with that, why don't you face me? And I'll face you. We'll kind of mirror with the, the, uh, the exercise. What we'll do, you've got ski poles in each hand. And it's like you're going down the slope. You're going to hop left and right. I'll demonstrate. Okay? Okay. This is quad intensive. Rest. Five second rest, then we'll do another set of 10. Okay. All right, let's go. After. Watch out for the trees. That's good. Okay, brief rest. Shake out the legs, circle the wagons. One more rep, let's go. All right. You, you call it out. Very good. All right. Okay. Let's move the weights to the side. Now we're going to do what's called bootstrappers. With the bootstrapper, you're basically going to try and get your, your feet uh, parallel to the wall, making surface with the wall. You're gonna drop down to your knees with your hands in front. All right. Almost like you're sitting on your heels. And what we'll do is we'll raise as far as we can, come back down, do that about 15 times, and then we'll rest. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's five more. Five, four, three, two, one. And hop up on the feet. All right. Now we're going to flip over on our back. Now I don't know what the technical word for this is, but I call them turtle strappers because you're getting on the back like a turtle on his shell. And you want to get your rear fairly close to the wall, maybe hands width away from the wall. And then you want to climb the wall with your feet, and then you're going to push your pelvis out. And it's real good for the core, also for your hamstrings. All right. Reagan, you ready? Yep. Now let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three. When you go towards the top, really push it out. You'll feel that stress on your hamstring. All right. Roll over, back on our feet. Okay, mountain climbers. Basically, you're in a kind of a push-up position or kind of a plank position, and it's almost like you're riding a bike in a way. Think of it that way. Okay, let's do 15. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And then one, and two, three, and four, and five. Okay. Now we're going to repeat bootstrappers. Regan, why don't you lead us in this one? Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a nine, and a ten, and a fifteen, and a fourteen, and a thirteen, and a twelve, and eleven. One more. We'll call that ten. Okay. Flop on the back of the shell. Turtle strappers. Okay, here again, we're pretty close to the wall. When you get up to the top, squeeze. 
That's where you get your real benefit out of this. Greg, you start us. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, flop over. All right, mountain climbers, here we go. One, two, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. All right. Third set. Bootstrappers. Assume the position. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, unlucky thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Flop over on the back. Do them in reverse. All right, Brigham, you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Can you feel that in the upper hands? Feel it. All righty. Let's go, man climbers. One, four, five, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, let's be overachievers on this one. Now we're gonna go side out. So a quick dozen of those. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're overachievers. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Okay. Side lunges. Again, we'll do 15. I'll demonstrate to make sure we're on the same page. Okay, and then we'll alternate to the other side. Right? Now, each time will be one. Left, right will be one. So let's start. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Five, five, count, okay. Six. If you have me problem, I do, you don't have to step out as far on the lunge Eight. if there's a knee issue. Uh, uh, Okay, well done, all right. All right, now we're gonna do curtsy lunges. Again, same issue. If you have an issue that limitates, limits what you can do, you just take what it gives you, and, you and you adjust accordingly. Like in my case, I'm gonna modify a little bit to the right. And then that'll be one. Very good, okay. And two. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. The lower you can get your knee to the floor, the better. I lost count. Call that 13, 14, and 15. All right. Okay, now we're gonna do a lunge kick. So this is gonna be a modification of the lunge where as you're coming up, you kick out. So we're gonna incorporate a little bit of martial arts into this, okay? 
the idea to kick as high as you can. And we'll do 10 each side. Okay, so one. Six. There's seven. Eight. Oh my God, my count up. Call that nine. Here comes ten. Ten. All right. Now we repeat. Okay, side lunges. This time we'll do a dozen. Each side. Okay. One. One, two, two, very good. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. One thing you can always do on the reps is if you got a little winded the first time, you can make it a descending ladder so that you go down maybe in increments of 15 to 10 to a dozen, whatever, if you need to work it downward. And I lost count. All right, that's enough. All right, curtsy lunges. Here we go. One, one, two, we'll do a dozen. Two, three, three, four, four, Five, five, six, six. When you're working the quads, you're just working them in a different way. The stress points are a little bit different. Sounds good. All right. All right, lunge kicks. We'll do a dozen. One. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five. And you also have to use some balance with this. Six. Um, um, eight. Eight. Nine. You were supposed to be stationary and I'm moving all over the place. All right. Okay. Last set. Side lunges. Do 10. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four, five, five, six, six, nine, nine, eight, eight, nine, nine, last one, ten, ten. Good, good. All right. How much for that sit? Now, we're gonna do squat jumps, chair jumps, and a wall set. In that order, we're gonna repeat three times. Okay, squat jumps. Uh, let's do 15. You start us out, or I'll start us out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want your feet to leave the floor. Um, 13, 14. 15. All right. Okay, chair jumps. And we'll do 10 of these. What we're going to be doing is basically leaping out of the chair. Okay, I'll, I'll demonstrate. Again, you want your feet off the floor. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, it's kind of how ever ambitious six that you want to be. Seven, eight, 
nine, ten. All right. We're gonna brief rest. Now we're gonna do wall sit. All right. Okay. You want your back right alongside the wall. You want your legs, lower leg, upper leg at a 90 degree. Okay. And assume the position. And listen to the music. Or listen to the silence. Think about the chores that you have to do when you get back home. All right. And one thing about Tabata is it disrupts the time-space continuum. So we've actually been doing this for five minutes, just so you know. All right. All righty. We'll repeat. All right. Squat jumps. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're chair jumps. We'll do ten of these. Reagan, you start us out. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, halfway there. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, okay. Wall sit. All right, we're going to take us through it. Regan, what are you thinking about? Um, thinking about how we could do this workout done. Absolutely. I think how great it's going to be when everybody can come back and use the rec center again. That's coming. That's coming. And this is brought to you by JJ Productions, by the way. All right. Last set. All right. Can you feel in the quads? You'll build up a little bit of lactic acid real quick doing that. Okay, squat jumps. We'll do 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. All right. Chair jumps. Ten more of these guys. All right, Reagan, you lead us. Two, three, four. Five, which is halfway there. Six, which is 60% of the way there. Seven, eight, we're knocking on the door. Nine, we don't get 10. All right, last wall sit. We will assume the position. And this can be for as long as you want or as short as you want. When your quads start feeling stressed, they're gonna tell you. Yeah, my quads are talking to me. All right, that's all the fun I can take on that one. All right. There it is. Yes. And now, we're gonna gravitate to the mat. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, we we'll do fire hydrants. So pretend you're a dog. And you can either drop to a forearm or you can keep both hands on. Either way, I think you wind up tilting your pelvis down if you drop to the forearm. But up to the side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're gonna do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, maintain that position. Now we're gonna do teacups. And with a teacup, you're gonna swing your leg out like you're doing a fire hydrant, but you're gonna hold it. And then you're gonna kick. As Ms. Renee, our Tabata instructor would say, it's like you're knocking on the door. I will demonstrate. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can do them slow, you can do them fast. The other leg. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Now we're going to do overheads. Maintain the same position with the overhead. The idea is to get your kick your heel back as high as you can over your head, like so. And we'll do 15 each side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm switching to the other side. One, two, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, 15. Now, after the fact, the, the proper, most proper way to do this is when your leg's coming down, it stays parallel to the ground. It doesn't come down in this range. It stays right here. All right. Okay, fire hydrants again. This time, uh, we'll do 12 each side. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Other side, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, teacups, 12 also each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Switching the sides, 1, 2, 3, Five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, now the overheads. Here we go. One, two, three, nine, eleven. These are real good for the hamstring. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Riggin, lead us in the fire hydrants. We'll do 10 this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching sides. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. All right, now the overheads lead us on that one. Yep, here we go. One, two, three, nine. Fire hydrants and the teacups are real good for your glutes. It's gonna stretch those glutes big time. Okay, one other exercise we're gonna throw in here are pelvic ups. And let me demonstrate. Helps if you have a wall on this because you can kind of jam your toes up against it. But you want to get your rear as close to your heels as you can. And then you're going to lay on your back. And this does work the hamstrings, by the way. And you want to push your pelvis up as high as you can. And then when you get to the top, you want to pump it five times. One, one, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Three, one, two, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll rest a second, see if you can get your rear closer to your heels. And we'll do one more set. Regan, can you lead us in that one? Yep. Okay, take off. Okay.
Where are you feeling that? Where are you feeling it? Yep. Yep. Okay. One, two, four, five, four. Five, one, three, four, five. All right. All right, brief rest. Now we're going to use the bands. Don't need the mats. All right. And with the bands, I'm going to hook one over each foot. There's going to be three different things we're going to do. What we're going to do is move laterally five steps and back five steps. Then out four steps, back four steps. Out three, three, uh, all the way down. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Then back one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Then out four. One, two, three, Four, back, one, two, three, four. Where are you feeling this? One, <laughs> feeling the glutes too. Yeah. This is all lower body. Okay, we'll go one, two, one, two, one, one. Okay, now we're gonna step forward and bring the toe back to the heel like this. One, Two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do right leg or other leg, okay? Forward. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Feet parallel. Now we're going to go back five, okay? One, two, and toe to the other toe when you come up. Four, five, okay, now other foot. One, two, three, four, five. Other foot, back four. One, two, three, four. Other foot, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, other foot, three, one, Two, three, other foot. One, two, three. Let's take it all the way down. Let's go to two, other foot. One, two, other foot, two. One, two, other foot, one, other foot, one. Okay. Now we're going to do full stride, all the way back, all the way forward. We've gone you know, half forward, half back. Now we're going to do whole stride, five. Okay. Start going back. One, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Other leg. If you have any issues, you just take what it gives you. If you have to shorten the stride, you shorten the stride. Let's go five on the other leg. One, one, two, three, three. So will actually work your groin too. Five. Okay, now we're going to do four the other leg. One, two, three, four, five. Other leg, four. How did we meant to do four if you did five? I'm sorry. Better to do too many than too few. Two, three, four. Okay, now other leg, three. One, two, three. Okay, you lead us on the other leg. Two. Okay, takes all the way down. Two on the other side. One, two, one, two. Very good. Okay. Last exercise for our lower leg routine. Keep the strap on. And on one foot, you want it to come under uh, into the arch. 
and the other one on top of the instep. Okay. And then what you want to do is just bring your knee up as high as you can. And again, take what it, what it gives you. It gives you a limitation. But we'll start with five, just any ladder, go down to four. Alternating legs, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five. Take us four through the other ones. One, two, three, four. Very good. One, two, three. Oh, Equipment Very good. Very good. Well, that concludes our, our session. And uh, appreciate your attention. We'll move on to the next set of exercises.